I'm going to show you an incredibly easy way to create an mp3 file, to create an audio file. And you can do that by simply calling your work number and then leaving a message. That message will then appear in your Outlook, um, in, in Outlook like this. Um, so I think this is familiar to most people. Now what I'm going to show you is how to download this to your computer and then how you can upload it and incorporate it into Moodle, put it onto your Moodle page. So here it is, here's my mp3 file and I'm just going to go to save as and then save attachments and I'm just going to just give it a name and save it to my desktop. So what we'll see here is we'll see that I've successfully been able to download the attached file as a mp3 file. Now I could play that from my computer, put it on a memory stick, do all that kind of things, but what I really want to do is to put it on my Moodle course, make it available to my students. So I'm going to go to my Moodle course and I'm now going to import that into my files area. So I'm going to click on files and I'm going to just click upload a file and browse and here we can see here's the audio file here I'm just going to simply click open and then upload this file so once I've done that it will appear in the files area so here we go Tim uh, audio file mp3 now I th this is I'm going to introduce something new to you here that you won't have done before but um, the way to get this now into your Moodle course you actually need to right click and save short uh, and um, right click and copy shortcut here we go now what we're doing is we're copying the file location so I'm now going to go back to my course page and I'm going to turn editing on and then I'm going to click on this drop down here and go to link to a file or website now I'm going to give this a, a name and I'm just simply going to select this HTTP here and then just paste the path that I've just um, that, I've, that I've just copied um, from the files area and change this visible to show. For some reason it seems to be set currently as a default of, of hide which means that the students won't see it and now save and return to course. And what happens now is that when I click on this new link that the that the audio file that the audio file appears within your Moodle within your Moodle course um, very very simple to do now the other thing you can do is if you wanted to add a image to this we could approach it in a slightly different way and I'm going to do that by clicking on here to uh, compose a web page and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it audio file and image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paste the path again. So that's that's the actual path of the, uh, the sound file. And I'm also going to add an image. So I'm just going to click on this icon here. And just going to go to see if I can just access an image. I'm not 
too bothered about what image I'm going to access right now, that this would be fine. Okay, so it's always good practice to put an alternative text in. Um, that is for when you mouse over the image, it will display additional information. So I'm going to OK that. And now I'm going to just again set this to show. Uh, save and return to course. And now when I click on the link, it will display both an image and an audio recording. So here is the image, here is the audio recording. You simply just click there and it will load and play the sound. So those are two really simple ways to work with audio files within Moodle.